Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your homeboy, Chris Burfield, AKA The Burf. And I've got three box on openings for Unboxing, unboxing. I keep calling them box on openings. It's unboxings. Thanks for you today. So we're doing three in one, the old hat trick. So we're doing the old hat trick today. Just got these uh, packages, they just showed up. And uh, I thought instead of making three individual videos, I just do one big video. So let's dive in, let's see what we got. Cut this puppy open. So if you're new to the channel or you've been watching for a while and you just haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Smash it! Smash it. Subscribe, make sure you turn on notifications. We got lots of great content coming your way. Plus you can follow me on Instagram too, at 80s Toys Rock. Rock is spelled R-O-C, R-O-C. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like that, but um, but yeah, uh, 80s Toys Rock. Uh, check us out on Instagram. Lots of cool 80s toys over there as well. So let's see what we've got. Um, there's actually a little bit of a mixture of toys over there. There's some 80, a lot of 80s, and some more modern toys. Ah, nice. This this is a modern toy. This is something I got that wasn't an 80s toy, but we got. The Mandalorian. Man, I uh, saw this on eBay and I was like, oh my God, I gotta have that. I don't have a Mandalorian. So I have the uh, the taller version, which I just got earlier this week and uh, which I need to do uh, a review on that one. But this is the three and a quarter inch high version. This guy, I haven't actually seen any of these episodes yet. So I, I don't have Disney Plus uh, thinking about getting it, especially considering everybody's kind of like in quarantine right now. So I've got a little extra time on my hands. So I thought maybe I might get Disney Plus and uh, check out The Mandalorian. I've heard lots of good things about it. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it. So comment below, tell me what you think of The Mandalorian. Should I check it out? Should I not? Uh, but this card has a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it has an eight, eight figure back on it. And let's see, does it say anything? Other than the Mandalorian, it does not. I didn't know if there was any kind of storyline or something that they would have written on the back of this. But anyway, super cool. Um, definitely digging this. And we'll put this to the side and let's get on to the next box. Got a smaller box here. Let's see what's inside. Oh, the mysteries you hold. What is, what's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, fantastic. As you know, if you've been following the channel for a little while, you know that I love me some GoBots. And this is a GoBot and I'll, I'll tell you, I honestly do not recall the name of this GoBot. Let's see, is this gonna... Ah, uh, there we go. Man, I could have easily broke that. This little piece down here was kind of, the plastic was kind of stuck out to the side and it was preventing me from flipping the wing up. If I had put a lot more pressure on it, I probably would have snapped it. So good thing I caught that. All right, so let's see if we can get this guy to transform. Okay, there's his, there's his head. And let's see how these go. This is always the fun part, trying to figure out how they transform without having to resort to YouTube. Oh my gosh. Wow, this one is a little more complicated than previous ones. I'm sure these legs Somehow, I wonder if they, they kick it out. That's not how that goes. Gosh, I might actually have to come back to this and just see what's in the rest of the box. Let me put this on pause for a second. We'll be right back. I'm gonna check it out on YouTube and figure out how to transform this dude. It 
Angela. All right, all right, all right. We're back. And uh, gosh, man, that was kind of hard finding so uh, finding some info on this guy. So first of all, his name is actually Bad Boy. So he is a warthog airplane, not a bomber. So and when he transforms, uh, he's actually it's something left to be, to be desired. <laughs> so his his robot transformation really isn't that great. I mean, these things right here, these are his arms. So, and he has like zero posability. So I guess you could turn these up too and maybe use them as guns or something of that sort. But yeah, so these are his arms in robot mode. Uh, the wings here, you just kind of rotate them and then fold them down. So they're out like this and you fold them down that kind of forms his legs and then he's got his head so uh, I still think it's cool I still I think it's awesome uh, in warthog mode it is pretty freaking cool pretty freaking awesome so anyway uh, we worry about let's see if I can transform him back here real quick Anyway, we will put him to the side for now. <laughs> so we'll put him to the side for now. I'll figure it out later. Oh, we gotta pop this. Oh, that was so loud. I got one more. Number three, lucky number three. Awesome. Another GoBot. This is a tank. It out here. You know, I've been trying to do these videos where like these what's in the box is just as much as, as a surprise as it is to me, uh, or for you as it is for me. Oh, that is cool. But uh, what happens when I do that is sometimes I can't remember the names of the toys. Uh, I'm just in love with them. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't, I don't have to know everything about it. I don't have to know all the history or anything like that. Um, I should probably at least know their names, right? Well, I did have them. I had them there for a second. I'm so clumsy when it comes to this stuff. You ever watch those toy videos where people are putting their stuff together and they're just so delicate and it just looks so smooth and- I'm like a big caveman with big meat. You know, <laughs> meat sausages for fingers, trying to, trying to get these things transformed. There's his face. All right, I'm gonna have to resort to YouTube, so I'll be back in just a second. And we're back. So here's what I found out. This GoBot, his name is Treads, and he was actually one of the last GoBots made in 1986. And from my understanding, kind of hard to come by. They don't pop up that often on eBay, but uh, which I didn't know that at the time. I just happened to come across it. But I was watching a just a, a toy review. Of, uh, gosh, if I remember the name of the channel, I'd give them a shout out. But uh, watching the toy review, and he said it was kind of a hard GoBot to come by. So in a lot of times, like it's got, uh, he's got these stickers on the side of him and underneath him. And apparently those stickers oftentimes get worn off. But here's how you transform him. So the first thing we need to do is we need to take the turret and pop it up just like that. And then you can slide his arms out to the side like this. And then 
this front piece is gonna flip around. There we go. And his face, this breastplate right here, if you just slide the breastplate up, just like that, slide it up, there's his head, and there he is. So, this robot form is okay. Much cooler as a tank though. But that is Treads. And this is 80s Toys Rock. So hey, if you uh, enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor, smash the subscribe button. You can also uh, follow me on Instagram at 80s Toys Rock and Rock is spelled R-O-C. Lots of great pics over there you can check out. Uh, it's a little, that account is a little bit of a mixture of modern toys and and uh, 80s toys, so, but I think you'll, uh, you'll find it to be uh, quite entertaining. So anyway, I appreciate you. Thanks for tuning in. Leave a comment below. Tell me who your favorite GoBot is or who, uh, what GoBot you have that is what may be considered uh, a great find for you. Uh, just leave a comment below. And in the meantime, I'll catch you on the flip side.